Well, Ken and the sports gang have been on the prowl for number I'd one. Say. Had to go a long way to find a new number one. Last week's number one in the Wing TV Top Ten was Charlotte since the preseason. But we had to go all the way out to Clewiston to get our new number one. Took almost half the season to see a changing of the guard atop the Wink Top Ten poll. But with Charlotte suffering its first loss of the season last week, we had to rewrite things a bit. Now the book says Clewiston is number one. The Tigers are sure playing like a team that could stay topside for a while. Al Morrell's club is 5-0, and and they've only given up one touchdown and nine points total all year. Some coaches will tell you being number one brings unwanted pressure with it, but Clewiston wants to be on top. We're happy to be number one. Uh, I'd rather be number one right now. Preseason, uh, I don't care too much about the ratings, but by the time you get to midseason, if you're number one, it usually indicates that you're playing well. We're playing good football right now. And they'll try to keep it going this week against Naples High. That's just one of the top ten games we'll have our eyes and our cameras on tomorrow night. Well, the Pirates and Reds are still battling to see who'll get the unenviable task of facing the A's in the World Series. They're going back to Cincinnati for Game 6 tomorrow night after the Pirates scored twice in the first and held on to win Game 5 last night. Now, to make it to the series, they have to win twice in the Reds' ballpark. That's not completely out of the question. Remember, back in August, the Bucks went to Riverfront and swept a four-game set from the Reds. We'll have Game 6 for you tomorrow night at 8 here on Wink. While the Reds and Pirates are headed back to Cincy, the Red Sox came home to Boston in the wee hours of the morning this morning. Even though they were swept out of the playoffs in four games by the A's, the Sox did a lot more than anybody thought they could this season. They won their second Eastern Division title in three years. And the end of Boston season means that left fielder Mike Greenwell will be back home in North Fort Myers in the next few days. We'll talk to him soon, so keep an eye out for that. Well, the Sun Sox keep wheeling and dealing to come up with a strong hand for the upcoming senior baseball season. Today, the Sox acquired veteran left-handed reliever Al Raboski from West Palm Beach for pitcher Felix Petaway. Petaway didn't spend too much time in Fort Myers. They picked him up just yesterday in a multiplayer trade with San Bernardino. And the subject of this week's sports spotlight can still set him up and knock him down with the best of them. When he left the North to come to Florida, he left about 400 bowling trophies behind, but he brought his love of the game with him. Tom Tidy has the story. Do something for 50 years, and you're bound to become good at it. For Fort Myers' Larry Cassera, that something is bowling. In the early 1960s, Cassera was good enough to make some money on the pro tour. Now he's either running his bowling alley, helping the junior program, or giving lessons. Some people need lessons. Whatever, as long as it's bowling, Larry Cassera will be involved. Well, it's my livelihood, my family's. I've been in the bowling business just about 38 years now. It's all I've ever done. So I wouldn't know how to do anything else, really. Fortunately, Cassera hasn't needed to do anything else. The 56-year-old can still set him up and knock him down. In his spare time, Larry takes his 215 average to do battle with old friends on the seniors tour. We make a few dollars, but we enjoy, I enjoy the competition. I enjoy the company. And, and it's a little vacation for me. I put 18,000 miles in my motorhome since uh, May 26. Even though the miles are still being logged, the hard road has been traveled. Cassera no longer needs to win money or compete against those who do. Uh, you know, you can't beat the kids today. But I try to be a stroker, but today, 95% uh, of the bowlers are cranky. They make the pins jump around, they make the pins dance down there. You don't do that, huh? My pins fall, my pins fall, and they say, excuse me, guys, they're falling down. They can say what they want, Larry, but after 50 years, they're still falling. In North Fort Myers, Tom Tidy, Wink Sports. Excuse me. See, Larry, Larry gave up bowling for a few years there for a while. Loved it so much, he got back into it and couldn't be happier now. Great. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken.